For a while there, it looked like we might not make it back to New Orleans, and after we'd gotten accustomed to seeing you, but y'all finished strong. Talk about how your season went. Well, you know, we, we started off pretty good. Uh, some close games, had a, a non-conference opener that we won by three. We lost to Oklahoma State by three on the road. And then we had a had a, a game at UAB that could have certainly gone either way that we lose by one. And uh, came back and started our conference season and had a comeback win or two against uh, Arc State and Lafayette. And, uh, and then we, our old nemesis uh, is Monroe at Monroe. Mm -hmm. Lost over there and then got back Got back again uh, to going again, and we had two games back-to-back, -back, FIU at home, South Carolina on the road, where we didn't play very well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what all the reasons were, some injuries, some uh, just uh, lack of confidence maybe, and uh, but somehow or another we were able to get them through, the, through our coaching staff and our senior leadership, get them back ready to play Western Kentucky at home. And had we had a road game that week, it might have been a different story, but we had a home game, had a good turnout and we were able to beat West Kentucky. Played well in all three phases and then we played really, really good against FAU the last game of the year on the road. So, you know, and we're able to, to, to be in a position, of course, Middle Tennessee still had to beat FIU right. later that day for us to get here. But uh, it was a it was a great scene on our on our charter coming back in when everybody found out that that had happened. But we, we've talked to these kids all along and we knew we were young. We knew we were lacking a little bit on returnee, returners on defense and knew we'd probably be pretty good if our quarterback came through, which he did as a young player. And uh, <clears throat> but it has been an up and down type year. But it was a it's a it's the conference season or any football season with 12 games is it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So you got to stay in it to the bitter end and and then try to finish strong, which we were able to do. Is that the the one thing you were really able to hang your hat on throughout the season was your passing game? I think so. You know. We we are we're getting better every game rushing the football and uh, I think uh, rushing the football against Ohio U with their knowledge of what we do and their their defensive posture will be as difficult as anybody we face. But you know if we can if we can do a little bit of running game to offset you know, as much as we throw it, you know we normally can move the football and, and score some points. You naturally want to be playing your best football of the season when you go into a bowl game. Given the way y'all finished those last two games, do you think you're at that? spot? Well, you know, you always hope that. And uh, we've had good work at home for this bowl. Great attitudes by our players. No problems, no distractions. We have had very good uh, first 24 hours here. And uh, looking forward to this, this practice today in the Dome, uh, uh, which we've never really practiced in the Dome when we were coming here. We always went to the Saints uh, uh, facility, which was very nice. But uh, uh, it's good to be in the venue. And, uh, and uh, as soon as the Ohio University finishes up, then we'll, we'll take the field and get our work in today. And I, I'm hoping for two good practices, uh, today and tomorrow, and then our walkthrough on, on uh, Friday, and then hopefully a good game Saturday night. Sometimes uh, teams will be a little disappointed if they find themselves going to the same bowl site in a short period of time. But y'all seem really excited. Three times in five years you've come to New Orleans, and it seemed like everybody wanted to come back. Well, hey, a lot of these guys were on the team uh, I think it was 08, I'm not sure, uh, where we had eight wins and didn't have a bowl to go to. So, uh, you know, but because we didn't have uh, we didn't have but one bowl agreement that was with New Orleans, and FAU beat us head up, co-champions, but they get to come with head to head. Mm -hmm. Now we have some quality, quality uh, uh, agreements that really gives our champion and the next two or three, ten, two, the second and third, also a chance to to go to a bowl. And uh, uh, but this is this is one that our people really enjoy and have enjoyed. It was it was really our first Sun Belt Bowl. You know, we went to the Silicon Football Classic back in 04, but this was our first after being in the conference. Uh, this was our first place to come, and then we and we sort of been always fun to return, and hopefully we can can play well. Yeah, uh, college football fans who maybe don't know a lot about Ohio might look at him and say, "Oh, that's Frank Solich. I remember him from Nebraska. Right. Power running game, fundamentally sound, tough physical defense." Good special teams. And he's Is all, that a fair all, assessment? All the above. And uh, mm -hmm. what a man. What I, and I really have a lot of high regard and a lot of respect for Frank Solich. And you know, you know, he uh, he was not only a great coach in Nebraska, but he's carried that forward to Ohio University. And 
and uh, you know we, his teams will play 60 minutes and in all three phases and to, to be a winner at the end you got to match that and exceed that. Thanks a lot coach. Thank you very much.